hope everybody's doing great tonight. It is May 17, 2020. We are going to open up two packs of this Tops 2020 Series 1 uh, Celebration of the Decades. Look for winning tickets. I'm sure I won't get that. Also look for exclusive uh, Vladdy Jr. cards, which obviously I won't find either. But I have met his dad several times. He's pretty cool. So I think I paid $2.99 for these two packs, or I should say more like $6 for the two packs combined. we got our scissors. I've been seeing how you all do this, so we are going to cut this thing open, or both of these. See what scrubs we got in here. And let's start off with uh, the 16 cards. Well, that's kind of cool. I like those uh, white sack uniforms. we got Alex Cologne. Uh, San Diego Padre guy here, left-handed pitcher. I don't even know how to say that name. Something or another, something or another. Uh, Detroit Tiger, you know he's a scrub. The team is awful. Brendan McKay, lefty, he's going to be all right. Mondesi. Uh, let's see here. Jose Urena. So far, a bunch of scrubs. I don't even know who these guys are. I haven't opened up baseball cards in so long. I'm just, I'm lost. It used to be a lot of fun as a kid. You could buy, what I, I paid $6 for these two packs. I could buy a box for $18, a box with 36 packs. That's how horrible these things are now. And it's no wonder kids don't even buy them. You know, it's not like kids have a lot of money, so they're going to go spend... Three dollars for a pack of cards for sixteen. This guy, I think, is a tiger now. CJ Crone. He probably won't even get to play this year. Uh, Aaron Nola, Phillies. All these sideway cards. I don't remember so many of these, but what do I know? Willie Adams. Hasn't he been around a long time? Uh, Mark McGuire, old throwback. Whatever the bejeebers this is. Altuve. Surprised he's not beating on a trash can. Is that too soon? Oh well. You get what you deserve. Uh, David Dahl. Kind of little Rockies. Don't know much about him. And finally. Albert Azola. I don't even know how to say these names. Unreal. You can probably hear a little noise in the background. It's raining. Kind of how it sums up my day mode today. Of course, the rain caught me. Let's get this second pack open here. 16 more cards. And we are starting off with a Miami Garrett Cooper. No idea. Brad Hand, a lefty. Couldn't tell you a thing about him. Oh, lordy. Good luck with that name. we got Cincinnati Reds here. Oh, is there like, I don't know, like these are all, each, I, uh, I don't even know these names. This is why I don't collect cards anymore. I never, I'm not even in touch with these players. Reese McGuire. I wonder if he is, his dad played. I wonder if that's the same McGuire. Not Mark, but there's another McGuire that played. I think it was Ryan McGuire, I want to say, with the Expos. Zach Wheeler. I think he's an okay pitcher. That's probably worth a nickel. Oh, this is horrible. Alright, phone. There we go. Carmen Marquise. There's another penny. So out of $6 so far, I think I've gotten back about 50 cents out of these cards. With both packs combined. I don't even know these guys. Is this thing any good? He's a Vladdy Jr. It's probably worth a nickel. I don't know anything about it. Not done yet. He just started. How could he be done? I don't know. Maybe that's worth... Well, maybe that's worth a dime. These old turkey cards, they're kind of cool. I'm sure they're worthless, though, because, well, they're in my pack, so... Bogarts, he's a good player, but I'm sure that's worth a dime. Mike Fires, he catches a lot of crap for... Bringing up that stuff with the Astros. But you know what? I give him props. As I did with Canseco and the, and the steroids. Right or wrong, he did come up and talk. 
I mean, it did take him a few years, and a lot of people are angry with him. But at the end of the day, cheating, it just, I'm not a fan of that in baseball. So I'm kind of proud of him for coming out and talking about it. And then finally, we got David Peralta here. So overall, they're cool cards, great design. They've come so well. They're so far in their digital work. I like their basic pictures, as in, not basic, but just like the borders and stuff. Really nice for autographs if you want to get those signed. Just a nice card overall. Problem is, is you spend six bucks for 32 cards, and it just, I don't know, the value there to me is just, it's not worth opening it up. I just want to have a little bit of fun. I haven't been doing much with cards and cheap in like 25 years or so so just having a lot of fun opening up some of these packs and i'm going to be opening up some old stuff if you youtube you'll find uh, my other post on there for some old vintage stuff from like the 90s hope everybody's great keep those hands clean take care bye bye